Biohunter is a Japanese OVA that has been produced by Madhouse and Toy Video. It has also been directed by Yuzo Sato. Two scientists are attempting to distribute the cure for a demon virus that is affecting people all over Japan. However, things become complicated. One of them has become infected, so begins his battle with himself. As he attempts to not only control his emerging demon side, but also to save the lives of others by wielding his great strength. Whoo, man, <laughs> this anime was fucking good. Now, I watched this anime as a child, and this anime has brought back so many traumatizing memories. Now, I know people my age that watch animes like this would give you a little bit of a comparison ratio of what got them into anime and just certain parts that made them love anime till this day. Now you got people in the new generation that would bring up animes that got them into it and what made them love animes like Naruto, One Piece and all that other stuff. But they don't really stand out to the animes that really pulled us in from back in those days. Like Ninja Scroll, Perfect Blue, Akira, Crying Freeman, I can go on and on with this, but each of those animes that people bring up will always bring up scenes that, that, that make those animes very memorable. Biohunter is an anime that if you, bring, if you bring it up, you can't just talk about the action. You can't just talk about the dialogue. You can't just talk about the context. This anime is packing with every single thing that is mature and it does not hold its punches at all I was blown away and I was knocked out with the delivery of this anime as a kid to the point where I <laughs> mentally lost teeth <laughs> me watching it now let's say I was still not ready for this fight because this anime still blown me away this anime picks up pretty quickly when it comes to the chemistry and the story itself. As soon as the anime starts off, they introduce you of just not only with the sexual context, but just showing you what the characters and what the anime is going to stand for when it comes to everything falling in place and getting completely out of control with everything that I mentioned before. This anime knows how to add the delivery when it comes to action, blood and gore context and even with the dialogue i was pulled in from start to finish not just because of the fast pacing but just how everything fell in the table i thought this anime was great i thought that the, the chemistry of the beginning of the anime was a little bit traumatizing especially by me watching it again because i remember how i felt watching the beginning of the anime i know i keep bringing up the beginning but you need to see this anime just so you can know exactly what I'm talking about. The character development was done well too. I like the chemistry with the two characters, Kashigawa and Kamada. Kashigawa is basically this character who wants to study the chemistry of the virus that is spreading in Shinjuku, Japan, which is called the demon virus. Now, the name could be a little bit more creative, but at the same time, don't let the name of the virus fool you of how serious and deadly this virus is. This virus is indeed imposing. This virus is indeed very, very, very very dangerous to the point where when people got infected by this virus they will show you symptoms of just how people was reacting towards others when it comes to their aggression how they would speak and at the same time when it when it comes to their physical boundaries such as strength and just them losing their damn minds towards everybody and also committing murder but if it takes full control you will see certain things happening in their body such as Faces showing in their shoulders, sometimes chest, or sometimes in the stomach area. 
each of these possessions show different signs of people. I guess it depends on how deadly the virus is or how they catch it, but the the symptoms was crazy. So crazy in fact that I did not want to be around at these times when these animes was taking place. Koshigawa explained this by saying how deadly this virus is and by him not only being a professor but, but him also being a biologist trying to study what the weakness of this virus is and how can they obtain it and turn it into a cure because he wants to basically get rid of this virus him and Kamada now Kamada is not just his partner but also a best friend of his and a test subject because he is also infected with this virus but unlike everyone else that is a victim to this virus and them being infected Kamada is basically the brute to Kashigawa he turns and transform to this bioweapon just in case of things get hectic and they are getting attacked by other bioweapons which is the demon virus as well there are times when they're not just talking about the virus and just getting down to business there are times when they're actually just talking and just having downtime when it comes to things being fall in place in japan especially with kamada's character because by him being influenced with this demon virus that he is aware of he is also being tormented of certain things that are showing effects to his character like bipolarism him being aware that this virus may take full control of him so he goes through deep depression and he actually tell kashigawa about this but kashigawa tells him these things to make him feel better such as are you more human or more of a monster if you're more human then you should try to have more faith we're gonna find a cure pretty soon and at the same time, try to live a little bit. Try to fall in love if you can. Try to date. He says these things because Kashigawa, he's a playboy. And he's a smooth operator, especially towards him talking to women in, these, in, in his classes. What I liked about this anime a lot is the animation itself. Even though this anime was made in the late 90s and early 2000s, I was literally getting the feels again of just me watching Ninja Scroll, Wicked City, and Crying Freeman not just by the anime itself but the animation quality when it comes to the dialogue and the chemistry of these characters and how everything it get taken in place i thought that this anime made me feel a kid feel like a kid again and i love it when i watch animes like this because i don't want to watch something or experience something that i've known as a child and i'm beginning to have these flashbacks but i want to live those moments again i want to feel like a kid again instead of just thinking about it and bio hunter has done very well when it came to the execution of me feeling like a kid again even though some of those times was traumatizing now let's stop talking about the animation and the dialogue for just one minute i want to talk about the major strength of this anime and that is the fact that they know how to add the thrills and the scares of this anime now i notice a lot of animes that has things to do with demons and vampires demonic possession ghosts and just evil spirits but one thing that they are lacking is the fear aspect but hey bio hunter done it well here there were times where you get thrilled there were times where you would get scared and there was sometimes i was thrilled and i was scared i was literally <laughs> Pushing myself back because I knew that shit was going to go down. Even though I watched it as a kid. But there were some things on this anime that I did forget. And it, and they did well when it came to me being scared. When you watch this anime, you are going to feel the same way. At least I hope you will. The anime is great. The anime is more than great. This anime needs to be mentioned and needs to be talked about. It needs to be added to the certain animes that everybody likes to bring up that people need to watch if they are a true anime lover. Especially the ending. I thought the ending was great. So was the enemy. The enemy was imposing, threatening, and at the same time terrifying. By saying that, that doesn't mean that this anime is perfect, sadly. This anime, even though this anime is not long at all, this anime needed some more characterization, some more dialogue, and some more chemistry. 
Let's talk about Kamada and Kashigawa. Even though they are bio hunters and they basically go around and they try to stop any type of possession or try to cure people that is infected by this virus. The anime starts off when they only cured one person. And then that was when everything took place when things ended up being bad and they had to take down the main enemy. I wanted to see more people that they've cured before things got this bad. Uh, and at the same time, I wanted to know more chemistry about these characters. Kamada and Kashigawa's character, they seem to have a lot on the table when it comes to the chemistry of these type of people being infected by this virus and a whole demon virus being taking place. But I want to know more about what they knew, how things got originated and how things spelled out when it came to them trying to find a cure. Were they, was they close to finding a cure? Was they getting close to the brim of how things got originated they explained a little bit of it but not to the point where i got pulled in completely by their characterization and it's not a bad thing but it's not really a good thing either it's like a minor gesture of a flaw because i liked their characters so much that to the point where i wanted to know more about them damn it even the main enemy was lacking chemistry as well even though the main enemy was threatening and imposing because of what I've witnessed and what I've mentioned when it came to what the enemy stood for. But his main strength was his title. But I want to know more about his characterization of what this enemy had to stand for when it came to anybody and anything being in his way of him obtaining more power. I felt like OVAs do suffer these things. It's not really new here i have reviewed a lot of ovas to the point where they are lacking these type of innovations that i mentioned which is the reason why i really can't give it the perfect rating ovas suffer this especially when it comes to less than an hour length but that does not mean that bio hunter is a major flawed anime some people will watch this and they would overlook those issues and they would completely enjoy it and give it the perfect rating possible and for that i really do have to give you kudos for that but for me that as a strict critic i have to be honest and i have to be real with with my ratings here it's a great anime i love it it should be mentioned but it is not a perfect one not in my opinion i'm gonna have to give bio hunter a B. Animes like this, especially OVAs, they are known for these type of issues. Especially when it comes to things being strict onto the manga and they show animes just so you can be pulled in of how good and popular the manga is. But some people may get pulled in to read the manga, but for people like me, it pisses us off even more because I feel as if, if you're going to start the anime in the anime the way how the manga ended. Don't have as the potential here and then pull us away from it just so we can jump on the manga bandwagon that's a bad way to start it in fact it's a bad way to start our franchise i kind of end that on a rough note <laughs> so i'm just going to end it by saying this watch bio hunter it's on youtube check it out you will not be sorry either way that's all i have to say for today Please stay tuned for more my upcoming anime reviews and videos headed your way. This is Hugo, your critic teacher, and you guys have a